Hi, I'm Luc de Rademaker. I'm from BKMF, Beer Communication and Events. And we had a beer experience in Antwerp, in the Wagenasi. We created a beer experience because we think uh, Belgium is like a very important beer country. And actually, we don't have a fair or a conference about beer. You have like the Brau in Germany, you have CBC in the States, you have some several other fairs and conferences around the world. Belgium, we don't have any. And during the first lockdown, during COVID, of course, everybody's time, I contacted the people from uh, the Wagenasi, and they did in the past, like seven years ago, they did like a small fair and small conference for like own brewers and small craft brewers. So we took the concept, we looked at it, we changed a few things, and we are aiming at like craft brewers to own brewers to come over and see suppliers, listen to the conference, have fun with like a mindfuck tasting. Um, Brouwer had a calling in Antwerp. They made a special beer for this event, a classic bolleke. They hoped it actually with an help, uh, Barberouche from Op France, one of our exhibitors. And actually we like that brewers or people that are interested in beer come to our conference, have fun, um, have some knowledge, meet some friends, meet some suppliers and actually have a beer, network and have a good time. Actually, in a nutshell, that's beer experience. How do you find uh, when you were contacting you know, the suppliers, the brewers, whether it was in packaging, the ingredients, how did you find? Have they talked to you about how they're suffering on the, you know, there's so much supply chain issues and costs? Oh, but, uh, I've, to be honest, we're living in bad times, I think. First with COVID, so lockdown, no pubs, no consumption. Then, okay, COVID was, uh, I hope it's over, or at least on control. Then like Putin invaded into Ukraine, like energy prices went up, supply chains are completely messed up. So a lot of people, it's like, I would say it like, People are not at ease, but they are still eager to do something, to see friends, to go out, to build up the industry and to carry on. And that's, that's the nicest thing. So I think there is like, right at this moment, instead of sitting at home, like being afraid, no, just come outside and do something. I think it's the right time to do it. Do you think any suppliers or brewers might fail with this? Oh, to be honest, I think the industry is in quite good health. Of course, there are a few weaker players in the field but I think like in general most brewers are doing relatively fine despite all the problems despite rising uh, energy prices uh, the price of the malt like I think doubled or tripled uh, the price of hops is going up but I think there is still like a base and they are like uh, people like to drink a beer people like to go out so I think this place and okay there will be some people in difficulties but in general I think we are fine yeah, I think the, beer, the the big brewers can handle the hit. They're, they're long, you know. Yep. And the craft brewers seem to have a dedicated, from what I'm seeing, yeah, seem exactly. to have a, such a dedicated, they don't, you know, they can take the price rises because they're used to paying uh, a premium price for beers they really love. Because we saw a lot of craft brewers really actually even increasing their uh, output during COVID. Yeah. Very strange because they, they found new ways to sell and they found they had a dedicated customer base. Do you think that's still true? Will there be a price, let's say, ceiling that people suddenly say, forget it? I think, I first of all, for COVID, I think the local brewers did really fine because people, we could not travel. We could not go out. So what people are doing, they support the local brewery. And they were at home, so the local brewery delivered with a bike or like just you order beer. And next day they were with a bike, they, room, they knocked at your door. Here's the beer, sir. Here's the beer, man. So people were having fun with the local beer. Oh, on the other end, I think like people are willing to pay a price for beer. And I think, okay, beer is still too cheap in Belgium, I think. But at a certain point, people will start like five euro for, for, for a glass of beer. Is it, is it much? Is it too low? I don't know. But at a certain price, people will say, I drink only one instead of I drink two. So I think in the end, it has to stop somewhere. But for the moment, I think we are still good. And for yourself and uh, uh, your organization, where do you see you guys going? Uh, you run oh. uh, Brussels Beer Challenge and uh, you know a few other, you run your magazine. Yeah. Oh. We are also suffering like every company, like for instance, for our magazine, like paper price is tripled in one year. So you cannot triple your price of a magazine because people are not, they don't want to pay like 
15 euros for a magazine. That's normal. I don't want to pay 15 euros for a magazine. But actually, I have to raise my prices. I don't want to, but I'm also, yeah, I'm obliged to raise my prices also for Bristol Beach Challenge. Now, this year, we keep the prices from two years ago. But like next year, probably I will be obliged because I have to pay my people more. Uh, I have to warm my, my offices. It's too expensive. So in the end, like everybody raises prices. So we, have, we are in the same, let's say, the same situation like everybody. What drives you? You're a real great, amazing promoter of Belgian beer. What drives you? Actually, I just like this stuff. I just like beer. <laughs> No, it's, it, it's, it's a question of people, what's driving you, what's your passion? You can say, oh, I'm passionate about beer. No, I just like the stuff. I like the industry. I like the people in the industry. And I just love being part of the community. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.